Grand Rising. Okay. For those of you that are subscribed, I apologize for a distant, you know, I had to distance myself. I couldn't, I couldn't do a video. I had my own things to uh, work on. Um, as I awoke this morning, I had the uh, unfortunate pleasure of being told by my guides that you remember that feeling you had about a year ago where everyone was treating you like shit, but they fucking knew, they fucking knew who you were. Well, the day of reckoning is here. So, I had a little conversation with my Most High, and uh, he basically told me to make a video and to wish love on those that have hurt me. Now, a year ago, he would ask me this, and I would have told him to go fuck himself. Literally. Because the pain that I have witnessed and fucking felt the, the whole 38 years of my life has been... Uh, it's been hard, y'all. It's been hard. When you're, you're a, a psychic medium and your gifts are coming in, and you're being told to shut up by people that surround you just because you're different, which is sort of what the world is about. When you're different, you're destined for greatness. That's what they won't tell you. So now let's get back to uh, everything. Now... A lot of you, I'm sure, with life in general, you know, life can keep you busy. There's a lot of distractions going on. Basically, anything to convince you that you need to go outside of yourself to self-heal is the wrong way to go. Now, I've been doing videos for about a year on this platform. Um, I've already gotten two strikes, so I'm sort of creating something else on the side, but this video needed to go out there for the people that, uh, even though a lot of people have hurt me, I still love, I still love, and I, you know, it's just a message for everyone I've ever met. Karma is real. And if you don't think it's real, it's because you're, you're, you're basically unaware of what's going on, but I'm pretty sure today, and last night started, maybe last, yeah, started around last night, where people are starting to treat you like shit. Well, you know, I got videos that can help you out with that. But once you go in, and actually take the time to meditate to where you can actually contact your God, you know, uh, everybody's vision of God is going to be different because everybody's not at the same levels. So, when I knew I was psychic and I knew I was basically <clears throat> completely different and I could predict shit that people were just not even aware of, <clears throat> excuse me, I knew that the astral realm existed. And once you start believing in yourself, the first thing you're going to start doing is trying to back away from everyone that seems to be taking advantage of you or putting you down. But there's a reason for that. They fucking hate your light. They always have and always fucking will. I'm sorry for the F-bombs. It's emotional. 444 on the clock. Okay. A lot of people stop meditating because the things that they see within themselves scare the shit out of them. 
And this is where I come in to maybe shed some light on this. When you start meditating, everything in the material world will subside and it won't be important anymore. Because you, you're going to realize when you start meditating that you are actually basically a construction of hell itself because the programs that they've been putting into your mind for years and years and years. And I wish I was making this up, but you know damn well I'm telling the fucking truth. So, as you start to get away from all these... Uh, there's no better way to say it. These Decepticons, these fake fucking people, these uh, NPCs as we call them. You know, the, the lights are blinking, but ain't nobody home type of people. When you start meditating to even have a grasp of what the fuck you're doing, you're going to have to make a space for yourself in the astral realm and just be in that space where God wants you. And then your guides are going to start coming over. But you're not going to meet those guides unless you deal with the dark bullshit you've been feeding people your whole fucking life. And let me tell you, when you go through your dark feminine side on how you've been treating women your whole life and how you've been treating men your whole life, let me tell you, you're in for a rude awakening because in the land of the unknown, you are surrounded by what you think, you are surrounded by what you eat, you are surrounded by what you are. So if someone's alone most of the time, guess who he's with? And those people that wish harm on a person that just wishes to be alone with God instantly backfires to all of you. So that's what's going to happen to you to others also as you're doing this process. Now I know this is not like a orthodox, right? I mean, I'm just, I'm trying to help people. So it doesn't really matter how it looks, right? You don't need to like, you don't need to subscribe. It doesn't matter. All I'm saying is as you go in and you start dealing with these dark aspects of yourself, if you're doing a really good job, you'll start feeling your heart a lot lighter. And as you keep going through this process, people are going to come in trying to manipulate you, trying to fucking... Guys, it's, it's fucking awful. It's, it, it's a wild ride. I'll just put it that way. It, but it's a hell of a cool ride because as you get into the spiritual side of what you actually are, you're not that... You're not, you're not going to be pissed off at what you're encountering because it's like a dream. Once you come back into this reality, it's over with. You faced it. It's good to go. You can move on. And you'll see throughout your day, a lot more positive things are going to start happening. But you have to work on yourself. Now, if you're just basically ignoring yourself and going to other people, you're going to bring your karma to other people. And then they'll start looking at you like you're a fucking problem. So, I'm just saying the truth here. Because I've lived it, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. But this ride is not for every, everybody. It's... Let's just be honest here. Once you go your way, everything will fucking... It won't even matter anymore. You won't even give a shit about another person. Because you're fighting for the contact with you and God. When you are done, like you have your nest, you're working on yourself, you're eating right, you're, you're listening to you become your better version of yourself and you're not listening to every fucking one out there trying for you to be exactly what the fuck they are, which is demonic as fuck, by the way. Sorry for my language. It's just, look. You go out into the world and let's say you want to 
indulge yourself in the spiritual ways, you're going to go through the occult. You're going to go through the fucking, you're, you're going to go through everything. And the only answer you need is for you to shut the fuck up, stop talking to other people and be centered by yourself and let everything go. Once you do that, you will taste peace. And once you have a taste of peace, you ain't going back, baby. Because it's too beautiful. It's too beautiful. Take my word for it. I'm never going back to that fucking life that I was abused. I was fucking put down. I was stolen from. I fucking... I was so fucked up inside, guys that I was surrounded by so many fucking thieves that I actually ended up stealing something. See how that works? When you're surrounded by people that do stupid shit, you're going to do stupid shit too. Whew. Grand Rising, by the way. I hope everybody's doing well. I am doing magnificent. I am so proud of myself for... Everything that has been going my way this year. But none of this would have been possible if I didn't listen to my intuition, which is directly related to God. Your intuition goes like, ah, I'm not sure, guys. Something's, something's wrong. Listen to it. Give it some time. Spirit won't ever tell you exactly right then and there. It needs you to be alone after what you faced as an experience. And once you're alone, you can go into that of what you are with your guides, your angels, you know, and they'll guide you. Now, if you're in hell and you're just starting your spiritual, your spiritual, uh, you know, your own way, your own way with you and God, It's, I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's going to be painful. It's going to be painful because, you know, God sort of puts earth angels in strategic places all around the world, especially around really, really, really evil motherfuckers. And the only way we can get to these evil fuckers is if we work on ourselves and follow God. So that way we can be their own fucking karma. Because it's all love in the end, right? It's all love in the end. I'm not fucking doing this.